I'm Marielle Brown and this is San Kush and I'm here in a secret location in the middle of bush in Trinidad somewhere with these manly men who are going hunting for some wild meat. I'm not going to be joining them because I don't think I could keep up. So you guys, um, go through hard now. Enjoy the hunt. I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> My general lack of fitness notwithstanding, my dedicated cameraman Sean is going out with Graham Scott and his hunting posse so we can see what goes on. He's in for a long hard day of walking, running and waiting. To hunt, basically what you're asking for is to release the dogs. The dogs go and search in the forest to find a, a, a scent. And when they, they find the scent, they start to bark and chase and so on. And the job of the hunter is to intercept where they think the dogs are chasing to. The dogs never see the animal. So it's, it's, all, a, it's all a game really of the dogs going over a hill and you going over a hill and they cross over a river and turn back so and you turn back so and the dogs decide the hunt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hunting yeah, yeah. is either something you love and you cannot do without or you can't do it. They, they have no in-between hunters. Are they a hunter or you're not a hunter? They have no in-between hunters. Many of my friends oh, come, come, come. have come to see hunting because I hunt a lot and they have come once and never come back again. Despite Graham's passion, I'm still not sure how I feel about the practice of sport hunting. It is, after all, killing an animal, essentially, for entertainment. And yet, I think Graham makes a valid point. It's often the sport hunters who can be the most interested in conservation. What conservationists want is a healthy environment that has all the um, flora and fauna, and that is exactly what hunters want as well. In a healthy forest where the animals can do pretty much as they please. When you catch an animal, the animal will be replaced naturally by other breeding animals. Um, what you have to do is make sure and protect the, the environment so they, they have good um, access to good feed, good water, and they will do the rest. They will reproduce and, and replace animals that are harvested. Despite my reservations, in Trinidad there are many people who search for that sweet piece of wild meat. And herein lies the problem. Graham believes that a major threat to the well-being of wild animals in the forest is the commercial sale of their meat. The sale of wild meat should be banned. Our forest is not big enough to sustain that kind of hunting pressure that is placed on them for the sale of wild meat. Graham suggests instituting bag limits on individual hunters as well as more regular patrolling of the forests during the hunting season, which is from October to the end of February. Back in the secret location, the men have caught a goatee, so it's back to camp where we'll be bubbling apart. <laughs> 